guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your very first time here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and joining us. And if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. And if you want to receive notifications when I put out a new video, um, please hit that little bell and you will receive an email when I upload. So, guys, we have had quite, quite the week. We really have. We have had quite the week ever since we left and we went to the great big Dolly Friendsgiving. We have had quite the week. So, you guys might know what I'm talking about when I say the big Dolly Friendsgiving. It was a international an international event you guys people came from all over the dolly world to have dinner together because we were doing toddler tuesday cena had the idea that we could do a toddler tuesday a toddler tuesday friendsgiving where everybody would bring a dish everybody would dress in their finest we would all go we would meet up we would have dinner together with all the dishes everybody brought and it was going to be a lot of fun and it was it was a lot of fun you guys but the, it was also very eventful um Without even telling you just yet what happened to us at the dinner and on the way home, <laughs> I can tell you some stuff that happened during the dinner. There were, oh my goodness, two little girls named Ginger Red and Hazel Brown, um, who, uh, well, let's just say they're twins, you guys. You're going to have to go over to Cena's channel. You're going to have to go over to Spring's channel to find all about Hazel Brown and Ginger Red. But let's just say these two little girls lived up to their red-headed sister here, Marigold. You know, them redheads. They have quite the temper. They can be kind of sassy. Marigold isn't saying very much because she is tired. See how she's holding her tummy, you guys? She's kind of holding her tummy. She's very tired. She's very tired. Yeah, but I will say that Ginger Wed and Hazel Brown, they, um, they, they are even a lot for me to handle, Mommy. You know, I thought that Walter was a lot, but, but Ginger Wed and Hazel Brown, I don't, I don't know about them. I don't know about them. Okay, Mommy, I'm gonna stop talking. I still don't feel too good. Yeah, I know you don't feel too good, Marigold, but we'll tell them all about that. But there were mashed potatoes flying. Oh my goodness, Walter was getting upset. There was gravy getting dumped. Um, you know, and someone brought some some adult jello shots for us adults. Because, you know, us adults, we can have a little drinky drinky if we want to, but I really hope no kids got into those jello shots. Let's hope not. At least I know Marigold didn't, but oh my goodness, you guys, it was there was a lot going on. But let me tell you what Miss Marigold did. But actually, before I tell you what Miss Marigold did, let me tell you that today is the last day, you guys, of Pickle Week. Yep. Today ends Pickle Week. So I've got little Isabella here. She is still in her beautiful outfit that I don't want to take her out of. I love this outfit. But yeah, it is the ending of Pickle Week, you guys. We have really enjoyed Pickle Week. Um... It's so much fun. Tammy tries to do it, you know, a few times here and there. I don't know when the next Pickle Week will be. That'll be up to Tammy. But this was, um, this week's Pickle Week was hosted by, uh, of course, Tammy being the originator of it. And then Cena joined in and then I joined in. So little Isabella is here because she, we are saying a fond farewell to Pickle Week. But let me tell you what happened at the dinner. So I couldn't find Marigold. I was looking everywhere. I was looking in rooms. I went and I was looking in bathrooms. Could not find Marigold. Joe was hunting everywhere. Could not find her. You know, it was getting pretty scary. And then I was hearing something from a closet. 
Let me do a good impersonation of what I was hearing from the closet, you guys. I do not sound like that when I eat. That's not very nice, mommy. Okay, well, I'm just telling you that's what it sounded like. It sounded like Iroh when he is, like, face down in his food. And I'm supposed to be a little girl. And you're talking about me like that. That ain't right. Well, <sighs> Marigold, you have given up the right to um to argue about you being talked about because of what you did. Let me tell you what she did. This little girl took an entire pecan pie. Whoever baked that pecan pie, I am so sorry because Marigold took it. Marigold took it. She took it into a closet. She ate the entire pecan pie, you guys. The entire thing. Crust, everything. Left nothing but crumbs. Oh my goodness. It was, I was just looking at her, her face, her face was covered in pecans. It was covered in all of that, you know, that yummy goodness that you leave at the bottom of a pecan pie. It was all over her face. It was in her hair. I had to launder this dress. She wanted to wear it again because unfortunately she didn't get to wear it too long on the night of the dinner. And I'll tell you why, because she did eat an entire pecan pie. We were going home. And Marigold got sick a lot all over our car, you guys. All over our car, her car seat, herself. Oh, my goodness. And then she just kept getting sick. And then her face got kind of puffy. And she started coughing. And we were like, what? Well, come to find out, you guys, we had to go to the hospital. We had to go to the hospital because her face was getting pretty puffy. And... I looked at Joe and I said, oh my gosh, I think we just found out that Marigold has a nut allergy. So we took her to the hospital. Turns out, yes, Marigold has a nut allergy. Now, thankfully, not a bad nut allergy, just kind of mild. You know, her face swelled up a little bit. Her throat swelled up a little bit. You know, they gave her a little shot. They had to keep her overnight, but she's okay. But it was very traumatic I don't think Joe's ever going to recover. He was very scared. Weren't you, Joe? <laughs> See, listen, he's terrified. Our poor car. Oh, now Iroh's barking. See, Iroh's all worked up. Iroh was upset too, you guys. She threw up even all over Iroh's little doggy car seat. I mean, it was a mess, you guys. But she's home now. She's safe. She's well. And now she can never have nuts again. That means no more no more peanut butter, marigold. No more peanut butter ever again. It ain't fair. It ain't fair. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. But, you know. Anyway, you guys, that is what happened. That is what happened. That is our tale. But something did interesting happen. Something interesting happened while we were at the hospital, though. Oh, my God. Do we have to talk about this pot? Do we have to talk about this pot? Okay, I won't talk about it in today's video, but guys, we heard, we heard that we don't know who it was. We don't know whether it was Pookie. We don't know whether it was Ray Ray. We don't know whether it was, you know, Shein, okay? You know, Shein, her name's Shein because she's in prison. Um, we don't know who it was, but somebody abandoned a beautiful little girl at the hospital. They just dropped her off on the doorstep. And I was just like, you know what? We've always got room for one more. So we brought that little girl home. And you're going to meet her tomorrow for our Toddler Tuesday announcement. I am not going to be participating because I ain't going to sit here with her. Okay, fine. You don't have to sit here with her. You don't have to do it. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and let you go. Oh, this Raina. Raina Bobina. Hi, baby girl. Anyway, you guys, we're going to go ahead and let you go. So until next time, take care. Take care of each other. Keep your toddlers away from entire pecan pies. Keep them away from mashed potatoes, jello shots. If you are a mommy of either a gingerbread or a hazel brown, you know who I'm talking about. Keep your girls under control please. My goodness. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Until next time. Bye-bye.